Right, hello everybody, welcome to the quarter-final of Chalice. Ducky with his vampires versus Chickenfish with his lizards. And joining me in the booth is Purple Chest and Kefool. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, I, I was hoping you'd say good evening, little wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> but it is not evening. I could say good morning to the wrestlers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> um, oh yeah, instant, instant profile there on the catch. Eh? That was nice, wasn't it? Getting a little bit more use out of the pro there. Trying to catch that. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a skill I I don't massively love. Uh, I think on vampires it can be really useful. But of course, in the coming rules in Blood Bowl 2020, it's going to be a huge skill. Yeah, I was about to say that. With three pluses, to just the match on three plus versus four plus is huge. Yeah. And and one of the biggest downsides is removed. Uh, if you want to use it for, for greed re-rolling of blocks, um, it now re-rolls one dice in the dice pool, which is a new concept. Yeah. Um, so you're not re-rolling all of the dice. You can, you know, just re-roll if you've got two pushes or a push and a skull. You can just re-roll the skull or one of the pushes, and keep a nice safe dice for if it goes wrong. Mm. So that massively increases its utility. And as uh, as Cor says, it's a three plus, not a four plus. Yeah, so the, those two combined back up. Yeah, it's suddenly a good skill, for, especially for yeah. like a blocking piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, now it's a bit. It's. It's I long down the list. Like to know my dwarves have another choice except Stanford. That's lovely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it, like vamps, vamps particularly like it because they do things that don't have turnovers. Ooh. Pro? No. No, no reroll for that in it because he's got no re it's causing turnovers. It? That's the yeah. thing, mate. Like, that, that, that's what's bad about pro, right? You don't want to use it when it would cause a turnover, but. Vamps have got bloodlust that doesn't cause a turnover, yeah. and hypnotic gaze that doesn't cause a turnover. So it's like it is super good for them, just because they're they're constantly doing actions that they, you would never use. Well, not you would never. You don't want to use a team reroll for, and that don't cause team don't cause turnovers. Whereas all the other things that you'd reroll with pro could cause a turnover, so you don't like, really want to do it. And a, a turnover there would have been brutal. I mean, right up yeah. the gun of the the line of scrimmage, which he hasn't set up to hit. So they're all available. You know, one yeah, that push have... on that vampire with dodge, and he was right onto the would-be ball carrier. A bad uh, scatter. They would have just given him the, the the ball. Yeah, yeah, he had to. He had to. He's showing all the ones. This, uh... Yeah. So he's, he's picked a thrall that he's sort of replacing in his screen. Yeah. And now he's getting tackle ahead. Yeah, and hypno cheat failed too. So yeah, a lot of fails for Ducky so far, but. Still done what I what I thought and imagined he would do, which is push yeah. up very very aggressively up one flank, try and get a very early score in as the vampires and get himself on defence where vampires excel. Yeah, it's actually been um, it's been uh, turn up all really high, really low. <laughs> <laughs> a classic, uh, classic turn of blood ball. There's nobody that can foul. So he's... Ooh. Yeah, no, I I, I like that. I, yeah, I, when he first stopped, I thought, I get why, but I don't think that's the strongest place. No, he needs there. If you want to make sure he can score next turn, right? Yeah. He could, um... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could with a him. double blow for it, the, the mighty blow break tackle saw us. Uh, could hit that front vampire. You could have a skink on the line giving the assist. Otherwise, you could have a nice screen in front of this ball carrier. Yeah, you could. You could also just hit the the frow and get the get the crocs around into that gap where those three players is, and your screen with a ton of skink in front of the ball to make it awkward scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah lots of options. So a couple of nice plans to uh, to try and get in front of this drive, but of course being vampires, just one little hit, no cheat, and there's always a hole. Yeah. But you could have uh, two. You could have a lot of skinks behind it as well. So if just one fails, it's starting getting awkward. Yep. But, uh, you know, I always think Paul McKenna must uh, must do very well because if you can just hypnotize people, there's a hole available any time you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm mean, talking blood bowl, obviously. <laughs> it doesn't look like uh, Chinkers is uh, going that direction and piling in on the side people and just trying to make it awkward. 
No, he's elf Unfailed. screaming. He's putting the two crap skinks in front of the two decent skinks. Yeah, I like it. Yep. And then he's, he's going to come in, I would imagine, with a nice aggressive day. blitz, probably onto the thrall with the uh, the guard piece he's placed. I will, I will take the thrall just because it's a lovely soft target. And then you get tackle on the vampires at the same time. And that's that hole now where you can uh, where you can tag all those three players with the crocs and go for it. Yeah. Right. Two, three, four, five. Actually, he can drop them in on the uh, into the hole without a go for it. Can't oh, he? Yeah. is it? Yeah, it is now. He's created that nice little pocket for it. Yeah, I like that position. Not quite as rowdy as, as the one I was calling for, but it's very solid. It's because now if you fail that go if you fail the hypnotic, either you hypnotic yeah. for a bad square or you hypnotic in a tackle zone now. Yeah. Yeah. It might even know. incredibly surfable and the ball can't really go forwards. Uh, it does need this other skink to come in. Um, behind the other piece of crap. Yeah, I don't know why he hasn't moved the other skink in yet. Yeah, that's... Well, I don't know if he has a plan for it. You could uh, get the, the Soros back instead, kind of in front of the skink. Yeah. I don't hate that, because that blood scar can stand uh, in front of the tackle. It's very May hidden get... on one side of the pitch, though. I mean, Vamp's not very fast, but... I could see them trying to break out and swap sides. Yeah, but... I think he's uh, piling uh, the last one in in front of this now as well. Yeah. To make it even more awkward, yeah. Mm. Um, actually, Ooh. yeah. Okay, that's okay. That's a really nice little screen. I think he's just yeah. going to run back now, isn't he, the duckster? I yeah. Think so, yeah. I think that's... But we again... Oh, oh huge. <laughs> I think that's too much to even tempt. Ducky doing anything now, he's just going to run to the other side. You, you no. take that advantage and stabilize, I think. Wow, really rowdy Apo there. On wow. Possibly the worst piece on the field for Martin. Yeah. Of course, it's just so important to try and keep numbers. Yeah. Oh, God, so but that's going to be like a red rag to a bull for Ducky. He's gonna, we're going to see the yeah. files dropping now. <laughs> that's, but again, with, with send-off being one in three, that could also end up helping Martin. We could, but we've all oh, seen Ducky's dice. It's, it's, it's going to be so much easier easier when he actually, next season, where he's actually using his new Martin Scorsese <laughs> account instead of this chicken fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's all good, isn't it? Chicken fish. Love if if you have if you have more than one break, one or two break tackles on, uh, on your lizard, you probably need to start playing something else. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a great believer that lizards should be able to cope fine without break tackle. I think it's all centaurs that it's really hurt. Yeah. The CDs do just yeah. rely on that responsiveness a lot more than the lizards need to. Yeah, now you need to have plans for blocking them free instead of uh, just yeah. be able to potato them around alone. And of course, if they do go rowdy into your backfield, incredibly uh, easy to mark up make them face a four plus but it's there. it's not like he can get a much back around this no this is scary isn't it um it's yeah he's just oh no he's going much further back than i thought mm. i thought he'd just drop into the little pocket sort of yeah. three or four squares back from where he was but he really kind of like this. centralized isn't he but he kind of needs to uh threaten um the side switch doesn't he yeah yeah i think he does because otherwise this is, uh, Got a Lisa. stun guy to eat though. Whoop! He's on there, uh, he's on. Oh, he's, he's being routed this turn. He's fucked him. <laughs> that, that might uh, put a dent into the. Oh! <laughs> that might put a dent in the fouling plans. Yeah, it might do as well. Oh. Uh, two bibs for Ducky are the inducements. Not that horrific to see that one in nine. Um, and he puts the thralls at risk, but you still don't see uh, no. the, the list is getting onto this ball carrier. No. Oh, and that, uh, that dude surviving the dodge was uh, pretty important, though. Yeah, it was very, very nice, wasn't it? I mean, it wasn't nice to fail it's, the 50-50, but it was nice but it's, to... But it's the only guard, right? It's Ducky's only guard. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, we could really see this ending up a, a Blood Bowl 7s game if Ducky keeps breaking AV9 at will. <laughs> and, uh, and the Rams behave as they usually do. Yeah, he could have. Uh, you're saying Ducky couldn't be killing both teams. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the few games here yeah, where the one team can basically take off both teams. Yeah, centralize a bit so you can respond. Yeah, it looks like du Ducky. I think Ducky had a guard uh, miss next. Bo both okay. DPs he had mix next. On, so yeah, he's only got one on the field. They did get hit quite hard in the last round. <laughs> they did, yeah. yeah they got a nail it. But both both teams uh, had a really scrappy last round. I remember they had a um, what's that? Who did uh, Martin play against? Was it Tom Snizzle's Mm-hmm. Which was also um, everybody running for their life. <laughs> yeah. That's a lovely move eight blitzer. You know? Yeah. Unfortunately for Tom, that's all he had. <laughs> that is literally all he had. Is this guy in scoring range? No. So he, he's got no one who can score this turn. Yeah, he's got three vamps on this side still. And that Crocs is beautiful, isn't it? I'm, I'm not sure grab would have been my... Oh no, it's break tackle. Yeah, I still can't read these punches very well until I mouse over. Okay, so it's... It is block, grab. Guard, stand firm. Grab. Oh yeah, it is grab. Yeah, yeah. It is grab, yeah. And grab. I suppose grab's for the one turning? Yeah. And keeping a player on the cro I guess keeping the player around the crux. Yes, yeah, I mean if you've stood firm somewhere you like to be, yeah. Um but yeah it's I don't know, it's you kinda of wanted to roll the doubles and it could be a blood stand firm guard mm -hmm. crocs at that point. A lovely crocs, wouldn't it? Um you could have gone for the break tackle, I hadn't hated that instead. Oh, he's going back. I thought he'd have pushed down this side. I guess he's blood firm, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think he's, he's afraid of getting stuck again by the sideline, isn't he? With that Crocs and the blood stand firm. Yeah. And his I, two nice tackle vamps, both stuck on the Crocs' tail. Yeah, this yeah. is the problem, isn't it? They're on the wrong side of the ball now. Too many men in the way. This is not easy to keep going this way. That's why I didn't like this. The break tackle's over here. And his vamps are over here. Like, got four players stuck, hasn't he? Um, I'm not sure going this way was right. TBH. Still, we've massively committed to it. I mean, with the ball moving, we know everything is coming that way now. Yeah. yeah. It's all coming. Now, of course, strength four blodge. You're not fearing the skinks terribly much. Um, it's going to take the entire pack of skinks to get two die on you. And even then, they're hitting a blodge step. So... Yeah, that's no doubt. The Skinks, the main reason for the Skinks being there is also Martin knows he's at 11 and cannot afford anything. Yep. So you just want them in the back to be able to do the screening off to try to and, stop Dougie. And even then, the two crap ones screening the two ones he thinks may be of use to him. Yeah. Which is it's good tactics, it's a good plan. Yeah. He's just got about the bare minimum here, hasn't he? To keep this ball safe. Yeah. And he's pulled the, the guard back, trying to make it of use to him in future turns, which is... I think it shows a fear that Ooh. Ducky had that guard go. Ooh, tackle! Yeah, this is rough, isn't it? Tackle and oh, fail. Pro. Very rough, gets but... Pro on but it's <laughs> it's pro -ching, but it fails again. <laughs> but now, now that Crocs can... Uh, geez, that Crocs is, could be a problem. Yep. Well, I, I think he'll go with the... Uh, with the tackle hit on this vamp first, yeah, we'll f try and free the crocs. Yeah, um, exactly. Send the crocs in the cage. Yeah. yeah, that's that would be my plan as well. Yep. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I would hit the cage with my uh, mighty blow tackle, Saurus, but the crocs would come following in. You can also yeah. hit the ball with the crocs. Um, is an option. Oh, you... but you could also go for the break tackle hit off the ball if you really wanted to. That's oh, oh god. Now he oh, cannot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, that would be run easy. Run wasn't a screen around first for the assist, but it's it's very doable. Yeah, if you just powered him. I was thinking. I was thinking you could dodge in with a skink, and then chain this guy off, and then uh, 
But the team could just run around and do the assist, and then you could have uh, do the break yeah. tackle hit. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, doing it without a reroll. No, you can't. And you can't do it now anyway because it's, 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 it's blocked anyway. Yeah, so now it's all safety first. You know, get aggressive. I think still put the crocs in on the ball carrier yeah. and just get rowdy with him, but but make yeah, him okay. do a tough turn, hoping it's going to create options next turn. Um, I think the vamps are really going to try and bang it in though, so I think we'll see the plus agility piece. Go for the end zone and then the, uh, the plus move. Yeah, I think you're marking with the crab skins now under that for the same reason. Yeah, Martin is exactly. coming up so now. That, that's the plan. Martin's trying to stop happening, isn't it? Yeah, the, the longer you keep the balls dry, the longer you keep vampires driving, the more chance it is that it just all goes horribly wrong. Yeah, edge five, edge five is the score. I mean, the, the the move seven can't even score at all anyway. He's only got one scoring threat. Well, technically this thrall, but he might get banged <laughs> out. Anyway, so yeah, he's really only got the one scoring threat, and it's edge five. So maybe he should have blitzed him instead of the uh, instead of the, the guy that the thrall that he hit. Maybe he should just blitz that. Yeah, I I, I would have quite liked that. It's it's the the problem vamp to me. I know the hitter is a worry too, and the plus move is a blodge step, which is lovely. But the edge five can just do what it wants, can't it? Yep. You can put it into all sorts of horrible little spots. Now, I don't think that was a good idea, but I might be wrong. <laughs> I suppose you can't blitz out through that skin because of the tail. And, and sidestep. Side if you don't power it. Even if you power it, it puts it in the square where you have to dodge into, tag into tackle zones yeah. and making with tackle points. and, uh, and uh, away from tackle and to tail at the same time. So if you don't remove it and it's, that's a non-tackle vamp, you probably don't. Then yes, you're facing a four plus to get out, aren't you? Yeah, so first you need to roll a six. <laughs> okay, that's not a good idea. Also, oh, he's got a guy free here. This guy could cut this. This van could come and try and gaze the crocs. The crocs. That frees up the throat to cancel the skink assist. He blitz this skink. Run in the end zone. He dodges out, passes to yeah. him. Yeah. And got a prowl free as well now. They can run downfield. Wonderful. Oh, midfield, so you have something to, to something to play with. <laughs> yeah, I, that thrall's gone to an interesting position. Um, yeah. I'd, I don't see its value right there, except... Another pro it. works. Oh, he wants to move <laughs> the thrall first, doesn't he? I mean, it's got off the sideline. That has value in itself. This is a, this is the big one, isn't it? This huge. Yeah. All Gets the pro him. has worked. All the hypno has worked. Even that. One. Gets him. So it's yeah. been a good turn for the Wams. Very good. Yes. Yeah. So throw comes around, cancels the assist. You just blitz the sidestepper, don't you? Because even if he goes ahead of you, you're away from the tackle. No. Okay. Yeah, oh, I, I think you probably know. should have put a. Yeah, I think the other skin as well have been better. All the skins than the eighty-five, just to keep it in bay, but. But with that not being a, a five plus to knock it down. Now, I'm wondering his plan here because that was slightly Ooh. the wrong angle to blitz for. If he does plan to try and score with it. Oh no! Yeah. Um, I guess he's not going for the score then. No, can't. No, he's uh, sideline catching. Ooh, I don't like this. This I'm is going for the score here. A lot. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I... Oh, bloodlust and pro <laughs> fails! Oh, oh dear. No. Wait, where do you go uh, now? Well, you have to hit the thrall that blitzed, aren't you? Just so that you're around. Oh, but still. that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did not like this. Another hit no cheap fail. I, would, I like going for the score here a lot. I did. I felt it. Um, I don't think goal, it's. But... I'm not sure. I will, I'm not sure it's worth putting the people. You could surf that dude, but I'm not sure it's worth the people. Mm. You also have a three plus. You can fail, which just fucks you completely. Yeah, no, just just bang him out. Go for the four dice with the tackle, mighty blow. Yeah. First up, nothing else. You need to know if it works or not. Yeah. I mean, a couple of people in chat were saying back when it was over on the other side. Um, 
skink sidelining that uh, that the you know the surf was on if you dodged enough skinks in. And of course, it always is. But oh, where's that ball going? Oh, Ducky well, so good, well, isn't he? He moved that green, guy. Yeah. <laughs> that brawl was perfectly placed, <laughs> knowing he That's would be hilarious. on the sideline and possibly on guard. <laughs> but I said sure hands. Though. One of the three throw-in angles. Um, yeah. If he can clear that ball up, can pick it up, he can even try to ha hand off and run away out of range of everybody. Brilliant. But yeah, that's uh, that's some good. Oh, I think I like the play of getting away from everybody with that skin. <laughs> yeah, good point in chat from Matthew Ori. He does need to activate the Crocs. It needs to do mm. something. Even yep. if it's just activate and nothing else. He's going to punch though, isn't he? He's got blocked. He's got if you're going to activate it, you probably just punch it anyway. Yeah, it's only a dodge vamp, so there's uh, there's lots of dice that are nice there. Yeah. I really... Oh, I like going for the greedy there. Try to pick up, dodge out, hand off, to go for it's away from everybody. Oh, on bonehead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I get another reason. A bit of luck for Ducky eventually. Yeah. Yeah. But he could have been free. He could have been away. <laughs> How Martins. Like marking that, marking Shawnee and the ball with that skin that could have been just gone, gone, gone. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Good morning, Ori, and everyone else in chat we've been ignoring. Yes, yeah, sorry. Been, been, you know, this game has been from minute one just constantly interesting, which is what you expect with vampires. So now time. that he's got that skink in there, maybe he just stays, right? Yeah. Like, no, apparently not. You've run I, back there? What? I mean, I, I thought with the Crocs, boneheading staying was probably just as good. I, I'm. Okay, there's sort of a screen you can form here, isn't there? Yeah. Mm. I still mm. think, dude. Yeah. Especially yeah. all the dice he's been That's rolling. How I feel about it too. <laughs> With all the dice he rolled afterwards, why why not just leave that skin and go for the handoff and run away play? Yeah. I'm, I'm really like that's that's safer than staying in your own backfield against vampires. Yeah, for sure. I'm, yeah, and the Crocs is bonehead. You can just run around that screen with the dodge. <laughs> yes, but it's, I mean, there's also, it's on a blodge step, and it's, um, it now has some places to step into where the ball's very likely to fall into a tackle zone. Yeah, but However, it's, that stand up it, and hypno gaze was always coming and slightly destroys that plan. Yeah, we're back again. But, but on the 3 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, the ball was gone without a range of any vampires after the pickup. It's the bloodlust. I like Bloodless Pass because of Pro. Oh. 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 And another That's Hypno. The gaze. Yep, freeing the thrall. Yeah, I better like not trusting in blood and trusting it cannot be reached. That seems like a better plan. Yes. <laughs> yes, but the best fight is always the one you're not there for. Uh, can he can he 3D? Oh, yes, he's got guard. Wait, yeah, and then. Um, cancel the other. Yeah, and those two hypno gates working, okay. of course, was pretty big. That's wrong <laughs> square for guard, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, it would actually have been better just cancelling the skink, and then you had three die with any vamp. Yeah, yeah, this is mm. bad. But then you had to dodge away from tackle. Oh. I no. think that's the right reason he just no. went for the stand up and. Uh, no, 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 no. The, the guard, the guards, the misplay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. It was, uh, it oh, was it's just, it's just it, wrong. Isn't actually, it? it didn't need its guard. It just needed to cancel the skink in front of the ball carrier. There it comes. No, two dice. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Throw it into oh, a foul. Disgusting. Oh, wow. Oh, well, but he survives. But it's a really can he score? As I said, <laughs> it's the it's the space I would have sidestepped he into. Can score. Five makes it just pick up a ball. And now he definitely needs to bang it in. He's still got. Oh! oh no, the first one. Trip wire incoming. Trip wire incoming. Oh, does he go for the extra one? He's got two plus. He, he has does. to. He does it. Yeah, he has to. <laughs> Otherwise, two plus. But I still. Yeah. Um, I mean, he didn't you actually have to, did he? Yeah, the break tackle. 
That's yeah, break tackle on that mighty yeah, protect. Yeah, break tackle. Okay, yes, he did have to. <laughs> Which was, th this was exactly the same reason for Martin's play of just trying to stay on your own side with the ball was never never going to be a good plan. Yep. So a classic five turn stalled drive there from the vampires. <laughs> <laughs> never in doubt. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what, at, no, least, I, at least vampires I, make games interesting, don't they? Holy I, I shit. think his biggest mistake was moving the other skin so he didn't have anybody. That other skin was played so he could outrun all the vampires. Yeah. Yeah. He should have trusted. The, he should have trusted the pig up with your hands. We have a local expert, so we can answer Ori's question. Um, how is underwear supplies in Denmark? Can you get hold of them quickly? <laughs> it's pretty easy. Go to a fucking supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you thought that was a genuine question. Called never change. <laughs> <laughs> right. So um, Ducky. He might. He might be able to do it in the break. I don't know where Ducky's living. He might be yeah, able Matthew, to. I do think where he chose to go with that skink was the biggest mistake. I agree with Cor. I think hand off and run was better. I even liked hand off, run and punt. Yeah. Um, if you couldn't get out of range, I hadn't done the maths as Cor had. If you could just get out of range, obviously just do that. I think you could because that skink was so close to all the vampires and has plus two movement on them. Yeah. He might and have needed to. Really aren't yeah. that quick. It might be able to tack it, but that'd still be fine as long as they cannot hit it. I don't even care. Yeah. And again, well, yeah, if vampires are running backwards away from their thralls to tag you, there's a lot of ways that goes wrong for the vampires. Alternatively, he could have run to his uh, away from all these players down deep, to, away from the 85. All he needed was to get the ball away from the guy that could actually score. Yeah. And yeah, yeah also, all, um, uh, there's been some losses. Uh, we've seen the. The worst of the Sauruses get banged out by Ducky, and uh, the Apo came in instantly. So the Lizards are now at 11 men, but no Apothecary. Uh, and a Thrall has gone uh, for the Vampires, so they now have a bench of one. Just a naked Thrall, but it, it's the numbers. <laughs> oh, Ducky, he's so good at Blood Bowl, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, the, all he needs to do is uh, make a 4 plus, four plus p pro into uh, rolling a 6 plus dies into getting <laughs> <laughs> How hard can that will be? But again, the kick here, I mean, vampires are short on pace. I, He's not going to get anywhere near it. No. Yeah, but he had put him to movement seven, though. Yes, so he's going to get as near to it as, as any vamp probably could, but that but that's can the... still leap it, uh, get it away. It's about then, you know, it's, it's the next turn. It's screening it, isn't it? Which is why he's pouring yeah. everything around this line of scrimmage to try and make sure there's somewhere in the backfield. Just take that ball. Oh, the pro gets the pal. Pro dominating this game so far, both positively and negatively. <laughs> because what are you doing now? You you might even need to again pick up hand off and run away from all those web. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe he doesn't activate the last three. But it's the where's the tackle pieces? That's the like you need. Yeah, he's right in the middle. Oh, uh, he is activating more, and Pro works again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, he's going for it. He's going full in on this. Doesn't doesn't yeah, gaze the yeah. skink there? I I think it's the right call. I like I said, I think whilst the skink's going to be able to get the uh, the ball away, and yet not hypno cheating there when it's a free action that costs nothing, I think was wrong. Yeah, and um, there's no thinking about but, it. It's definitely wrong, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's one of those rare can. examples. Of, yes, it 100 percent is wrong. Um, but Martin can hit the hit that uh, tackle uh, vampire in the back with um, with his own tackle. It doesn't yeah, even that's, need it. Just... That's what's got to be done. You, you've got to try and get that ball and get it as far over the other side, away from the, the plus agility and plus move vamp. As sure. You can. Yeah. Get some sort of screen in and take out the vamp on that other side. No, apparently not. That's apparently not what we do. Oh, I think this is... Well, I mean, this uh, is the immediate threat to the counter score, so that that's fair enough. If you go two does, nil, if you go down yep. two nil, you've lost. So. And non how there was ruinous. So I think he had to push a re-roll in with only two, but yeah, <sighs> four five for another. I think that's no fine. armor breaks. He can't hand off to the other skink, so like he's got to get the ball here and protect it somehow. Oh, Two, three, four, five, four, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's a pass. Fucking hell, yeah. That's scattered <laughs> to the side. It was uh, pretty bad. Yeah. 
I mean, the, the junk skink at the front of these uh, these two sauruses that hasn't moved yet, that could feasibly foul the plus move, but it's, it's, you know, it's a regen piece. Only on it's AV8 anyway. There's only going to be one assist there, possibly two. I, I, I don't think he can. Oh, it does have sprint. Yeah, it can. Oh, he's got yeah. sprint. Oh, yeah, he could. So their plan was on to just a handoff and sprint to the other side of the pitch mm. and and blitz the tackle vampire. Con Actually, we good. A, a, a damage that has survived. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Yeah, he's got sprint to your feet, totally forgot about. You know, it would have helped to look at his skills, didn't it? I just counted squares no, and didn't look at the players. Don't. Yeah, it was. You but... know things have been informed, Jim. That's massive. Fuck off, Jimmy. Yeah, I, I feared this. He, 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 he now we're in rage of tackle. He definitely hasn't got the memo, has he? Uh, <laughs> oh, my. Cage and, he... it's just not... and he cates in range of tackle as well. Just in case, just to make extra sure that he can take that option if he wants to. Well, don't worry, there's not an H5 vampire there, so it's all cool. Yeah, so it's fine. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this Think is about, about as strong and stable as, um, as a Theresa May government, but it's about as strong and stable given the position as I think if you wanted to cage you could do it but. yeah yeah it was truck I mean it was he couldn't really get away from tackle to be fair it was, nah. it was hard it was really hard the, the thing is still just the failure state and losing the ball there is just horrible <laughs> yeah like the turn before it's mm -hmm. Get it, With that thrall not pieces. moving in, it looks like we're not attacking the ball carrier this turn. It's, it's about as easy as he can get, isn't it? Although he, he might be there to, to assist the, uh, the vampire he can, gaze. He can, he, he, can just, as about, he can just gaze the back corner and then the tackle dude can move in. Yeah. yeah. All free? Yeah. He's got tail on the edge five though. <laughs> I didn't, uh, <laughs> and he did roll a one, so we, <laughs> yeah, without, not that tail makes any difference. Oh, so he's going for the three plus skills. Gets and it. Of it. Oh, with the pro! With pro again. <gasps> I'm, Disgusting. I'm pretty sure pro is not feeling like a 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tail is not a thing, because he's edge five. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, um, oh, 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 he cannot hit with that bloodlust, and it's two gopros to hit, and it fails, and he pros it, <laughs> and fails it! That was again, wow. <laughs> he makes all the pros though, he has a, it's, it's, it feels like he's been running uh, more four pluses than two pluses. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. Okay, oh, now, now now Martin better fucking run. <laughs> that was brutal, wasn't it? This is run forest guard run time, isn't it? But um Ducky left enough for screen back that there's still that mighty blow tackler to worry about, so you need to move but forwards it, in good order. Yeah. But you can hit it, it's not even a blood shot. So you could prioritize this messing try to smash it down. Croc splits, let's go. Nah, I will, that's a guard stand firm, but I'm probably better suited. No, nope, Crocs has got Mighty Blow, you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unequivocally wrong. <laughs> no, of course, of course not. You've probably. been watching some North American streams, Jim, haven't you? <laughs> You're wrong. You, um, it's what I oh, say, look, if, he, if he'd activated something else, that one wouldn't have happened, and then you'd have been alright. You could have listed with the crooks. <laughs> no, but yes, obviously. <laughs> That's how Blood Bowl works. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Matthew. I don't even hate the idea of a croc split, but I'd have run everyone forwards first. Yeah, you could have waited last. I just wanted to make sure. I, I do prefer the chance of that tackle piece being on the ground being higher. Yes. Because even uh, even on the ground, it's just the movement wise. It doesn't have it. Yeah. You can you can run out of range if it's just laying down. It's not laying down. That's a problem. Yeah, of course. Which is why he is blitzing it. Even this push puts it in a much tougher position to get yeah. to the goal. Uh, yeah. 
And if it wasn't the blitz with the crocs, then I do advocate moving it as early as possible in the turn. Um, because then you know if it's going to be of use to you or if it's going to be stupid. And two left and oh, only one left. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but that's. Yeah, so it didn't really matter. It was a go for it. I might have taken the go for it to get down in front of it instead of standing there. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It would have been, it would have been slightly tempting, but when he hasn't moved any of the cage or anything. And... Yeah. Yeah, and the cage is not safe, and there's one that hasn't recovered Hypnogaze. You can't take chances with your fail state that bad. I mean, you can, but I don't believe you should. It's yeah, you're going to move out. You're going to move the cage out first. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was his mistake. No, we not. And also, with only two rerolls, he's been very, very conservative with them and with his go for it use, hasn't he? But then, of course, lizards are so quick that they quite often don't need those extra squares that the other teams do. And he is in scoring range. Yep. Oh, and that's a lovely power on the AD85. Certainly is. That removes that from uh, getting bothersome this turn. And one, two, three, four. And it's the tackle can get there, but it's a long way. Can he? Some dice to do anything and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can so gaze. He can, he can gaze. He can dodge. He cannot gaze. gaze. A skink. Yeah, but it's two go for it, right? To yep. even gaze the skink, and then it's two go for it more. Yeah. Plus, it's, so it's two plus two plus two plus three plus three plus two plus two plus two plus. You yeah. probably need to do it. That's, yeah, that's, that's all he can do, and he's going for it. Um, and it's yeah. We're back. Yeah. That's kind of why I wanted that go for it. And my, yeah, it should have yeah, been last. So you know, if the ball needs to come first, so that you can oh, take that Oh, pro what? No! <laughs> what is this madness? <laughs> it's another one of those games where you start to think, I really don't know much about Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> but yeah, how crucial was that extra GFI that he didn't do it? Oh, and the ball back. <laughs> Eighty-five. Five, oh, yeah. No, we probably just take it with the plus, at the tackle piece, right? Yeah. Or the plus moment piece. Oh my god! But yeah, it's no matter what that. But the stun firm. Oh, they shouldn't <laughs> have had three plus two plus. That's the whole problem, right? Yeah. I'm pro <laughs> again. Pro over there. <laughs> His pros totally better. His four pluses are literally better than his two pluses. It's insane. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's again, it's the two turn priority. So you do do the blitz early, which means you know how it goes, but it means you cannot maximum. Yeah. Get the maximum effect out of it, because that dude should never have been able to three plus two plus for for a sack. That's just wrong. Yeah. I think someone needs to stop the Elysian watching this uh, this replay back. <laughs> because otherwise we're going to get a pro first dwarf run next season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but but that should have been boring. Again, Martin had two plus from stopping that play. Well, adding a four plus to it. Yeah. And make, making the make, making the other hard dodge harder as well, wouldn't it? The, uh, that yeah, that would have made. Would have made yeah, dodge as well. Yeah, that was a lot of reason why that shouldn't have been that easy. Yeah, I, it, even it, instead it, of staying on the vamp, I, mean, I know it made a three plus two plus instead of just a two plus. There were options of pulling back towards where the skinks were that made getting in there much harder too. I yeah, there was just, a lot of skinks. Just following up was definitely not the right move. No, uh, but it had to be done because. As we said, the ball needed to come forwards, and it, because he hadn't done that, so I think there was a turn ordering. I'm going to go as far as to say error there Whew. from Chickenfish. Big if true. And yes, that was a pretty, um, pretty nice turn for. Him. <laughs> Obviously, he can't protect the ball at all, but he's got sidestep, no. so he can choose where he, he gets knocked down. And you should know, Jim, having uh, played him more than once. Uh, I believe Space Cadet is a great fan of saying that you know, defending the ball isn't really that necessary. <laughs> you, know, you don't even need to score on turn eight, I heard. Yeah, scoring, protecting the ball, these are all things that he's, he's moved beyond. <laughs> yep. Uh, 
He wants to punch with the Crocs though, KLZD, doesn't he? That's the thing, he wants to punch with the Crocs. So he doesn't want to. kind of need to as well to. One, two, three, no. You need to get as much around that ball. And you need to get scoring threats. You need a lot, and everything is on tackle. Yeah. Besides the dude in the other side. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I did wonder if he's going to try a rowdy red dice surf on this uh, this vampire. That's really it's looking rowdy. Very, very just tricky to do. That's, that's something you shouldn't be thinking about, I think. <laughs> With the ball laying. Why are we. Oh dear, oh no. What in the. Have we not at least put it. Okay, so last time the ball was free, we decided it was very important to take the ball instead of getting the ball away. <laughs> this time we decided the ball is fine. Just leave it. Who cares? <laughs> what the. Actually. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't like that's that. A lot, that's a lot of things I don't understand about Martin's play in this game. What the hell is that Stan Firm dude doing? I think he's cancelling this so it wasn't a three dice from him, but he'd already stood him up, so... It doesn't make any sense. Um, we don't get the ball... And... We barely have a scoring threat. Yeah, it's looking rough. Chicken fish. Ducky with no rerolls left, but he's got an edge five vampire ready to catch the ball and run away and score. Yeah, How and uh, it's still him? no real attrition other than that one thrall. There's two KOs. Yeah. But Ducky has uh, has two kegs of Bloodweiser in his uh, dugout to revive them. But it's even better if he can score now, then he get two tries, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, the scoring I generally believe to be a good thing in Blood Bowl. And why didn't we not stand up the Super King, which at least allowed us to have potentially oh, scoring for it? Tackle call. Oh. <laughs> okay. You can't take your one decent ball carrier and put it under threat, can you? Yes, you absolutely can, and you should have done. <laughs> Any people not picking up on the irony there. Oh well, there you go. He's dead. Look, so maybe he shouldn't have done. <laughs> that was the other one. Yeah, that's the second best skink, but that's a big loss. Vindicated. Yeah, that was the skink. <laughs> yeah. That's. Uh, I. I think that positional error last turn, the uh, not moving the ball forward, so not feeling he could take that. That go for it to lock the vamp down tighter, or as I said, you know, even moving away because that vamp was already based and and looking to. Form a shape that helped the skinks a bit. Oh, that what? Cost him hugely. Oh no, pro worked, of course. It was the <laughs> hypno gate. There was the three plus feeling, not the four plus. <laughs> Does the arch five go for the ball here and pass it to oh, no, the uh, to yeah. No, no, we're dodging into. Okay. Was that a four plus away? It was. <laughs> it was. Naked four plus. How hard can it be? Is this his favorite row, though? And he goes for the scatter. No. Yeah, I... yeah, so edge five, it's gotta be. Uh -oh. yeah, going into the end zone. Mm. Mm. I, mean, makes... oh. I guess you can't intercept it now. Could have just that's, gone out like this way, couldn't he? That's it's the same. Yeah, he just. It's he, not longer. <laughs> yeah. He's just rolling dice now. <laughs> yeah, Dougie just rolling dice for fun. He's got pro. And oh, he fails. fails the pro. If it's been a four plus pass, he's been golden. <laughs> yeah, I think I would have risked taking the risk of the intercept. I don't know. Oh, uh, that's a that's a big dude that can score. Yeah. There is. And you can now you can actually serve to web if you really want to. Would you have risked that, the, would you have risked the uh, intercept there to like pass it to when he was like here or whatever? Um it's a two plus. Yeah. If the if the two plus is be better than uh, the overall, I'll probably have risked it. Yeah. Of course if you uh, 
if his if his Crocs isn't accepted, then it's a two plus two but, plus to get it the handoff. But it? we could also we could also have fun of thinking about what is he not done all those extra lives just for fun and giggles. Yeah, yeah, that was that was pretty bad, wasn't it? You could have just come around the other side. <laughs> it was the exact same moment. Yeah. Um, isn't it just yeah? Hit a trail, surf a vampire, try to miracle play with a skink. To yes. get the ball to the scoring thread. Yep. I'm not yep. even sure I can bother making it easier to do the pick up. <laughs> if it's four plus or five plus, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I you got mm. But you could that vamp vampire by the sideline. <laughs> I might risk that serve. Yeah, you gotta go for the vampire serve. I would have liked to have chained this skink board as well, but never mind. He hasn't. Yeah. He's on tackle and he could have chained him off a tackle and close up the ball. Nope, we're going to try to make a, make the pickup slightly easier. By hit but are we chaining Scott, into the ball? Yeah, Scott yeah, the ball, I think. I think so. Uh, mm -hmm. Two vampires right there doesn't seem Oh, oh wow, we're putting a all vampire all. onto it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. He gets tackled. So it's, mm. no, he gets tackled on it, but the ball is slightly less. He can uh, hand off instead now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now it's in range of a hand off. <laughs> mm. I, I didn't I, like I didn't like I, I much prefer chaining the skink towards the ball. But yeah, it was bad because he also had tackle on this dodge now. Yeah. So that was, yeah, that was not a great option. That was uh, not it, not the three plus that worked anyway, but that was that was not right. Yeah, yeah, should have surf first. Uh, he should have he should have chained with a block, and then surf. That vamp was mm. just too good, wasn't it? I think. Or at least uh, punched yeah, vamp and man. seen what happened. So hard to turn down an opportunity there, but it, it just didn't seem one hundred percent the right way done, did it? No. But. Um, I don't read the problem is ours. He's not really my problem with feeling sorry for Martin is he's not really taking the chances being given either. Yeah, he he got the, he got the ball on the vampire's drive, but didn't take this route to try to actually capitalize on it. Yeah. He had a sideline case, but didn't roll the dice to protect it. However, I do also think there's a couple of turns where he has had some poor dice, but yep, that's blood bolt. One has to have plans to cope with that, and as we saw Ooh. with Ducky, you know, when the uh, when the first of his go for it's failed, still had the confidence in himself to, to bang the second one in because it needed doing. And so, I mean, Martin tried the same when he didn't have the uh, the reroll to um, to do things, but then you know, the minute he got into a reasonable state, he stopped. But Whereas but you're saying that, Matthew. But but Martin had the dice in that turn to actually get up one on Ducky's drive. He had the dice oh, there. Yes. He rolled no, the dice. I I don't he rolled all the dice he needed to do it. And I will he just yeah, I didn't do, do it. Yeah, I, I do not think Ducky had insane dice there at all. He rolled millions oh. of ones. He had like he had insane pro dice, but he also had like insanely bad dodges and gears and stuff, didn't he? And at least twice the pro, you know, re-rolled it and then he won the, the, the move again. Oh, wolf back is out. However, here we go. So the lizards. This is what I was hoping to see a little more of. Smash those thralls up, dominate the uh, the vampire team, and get it down to just a few little pieces, and then it'll fall apart. Yeah. That's the theory. Bang them out. And uh, sick as eggs. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Absolutely glorious. Welcome to Team Fantasy. Absolutely prime. <laughs> Don't worry, sick. Just just using your your free sub doesn't make us think you're cheap. <laughs> <laughs> we we wouldn't judge you like that. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not using my free sub on you. Because you're worth it, PC. You're worth paying for. Actually, Corp. Weirdly, um, I think we get tuppence more for a a prime sub than we get for a real sub. I say not, real I sub. Don't know. I mean a paid for sub. They're all real. Yeah, uh, and I, I don't. Think, <laughs> I'm completely joking. Everyone should use their free prime sub, of course. Nice to support your friendly local streamers. Yeah, and it, it does actually give Jim 3p more than actually paying for a sub. <laughs> is it? Is it? Yeah, it is I just re I've realized every month I start subscribing to your channel. When I can. 
<laughs> when uh, when my invoice tells me I paid again. Glorious. <laughs> I won't Glorious. give in until I'm victorious. No, I mean we, we do we appreciate it. I will yes. defend. Absolutely, and thank you very much, Arkus. I've got no idea how to pronounce that, but thank you very much for the prime sub. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Personally, I'm. Uh, I'm I mean, I've got to wait for this semiconductor shortage to slightly ease, but you know, I'm saving up for some better kit to help with my stream. And every, uh, everything coming in through the Twitch is being allocated <laughs> towards that. Yes. And if it's not uh, like uh, the pepper biscuit uh, frenzy, anyway, <laughs> that was hilarious. That was that was nuts, wasn't it? And but well, um, I was trying to come at it. I was trying to come at a game. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it wasn't easy, was it? Thank you very much, Matthew Ori, for the hundred bits. And, oh, oh, yeah, so yeah. Awesome. and it was Kemri versus Kemri. It was not easy to comment on in the first place. <laughs> well, that game was awesome. He's getting the hand cream out and finding his sock. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> oh lord. Oh, he's just gonna go for them both, oh baby. Straight in there, look at that, look, he yeah. goes for the, the double gaze. Well, again, I mean, with vampires, I think it's the right play. You get it done whilst you've got the pieces to get it done, and if you wait, you may get a slightly better shot in three turns time, but then you've only got four pieces on the pitch. Mm -hmm. So Falls once you've committed, you know, full commitment, uses the reroll, and of course, if you kill that skink, then he's just down to some terrible skinks, which is a nice position to be in. So I like attacking early with vampires. I like that he, you know, took on the big skink. Nice scatter for him. He's gonna, he's gonna surely try and pick this up. Yeah, I was a bit yeah. wondering why Martin put the cage in front of the crops and those guys instead of behind it. Yeah. I mean, I, I quite like, instead of the shape he pulled, I quite like just a solid wall in front of the ball carrier against yeah. Hypnogaze. Yeah, but he was not really defending Hypnogaze <laughs> at all, was he? I didn't feel so, no. no. Okay, Bloodlust failed, Pro worked. Nope. No, Pro failed as well. Oh no, Pro failed! Two. Sorry, but I heard the cha-ching. Does he just eat the BA, the stun guy? Yeah, we have been sidestep. And fouls? Was that a vampire foul on the nice skink? It looked like it, uh, didn't it? And it, the bribe it did worked. look like it. It was, and bribe worked. <laughs> and the bribe worked, keeping the uh, getting the skink off the pitch, keeping the vampire who picked up the ball oh, to foul. That been a crazy oh, one man. on the pitch. Oh man! <laughs> wow. Yeah, um, there was there was a there's a what's that's a ducky foul and a half. Yeah, wow. I mean, with the bribe, I don't hate it, but it, it's still a one in six, isn't it? it yep. Wow. But then removing that skink is so key, isn't it? The lizard's now in real trouble, even if they get this ball back. Yep. Wow. And getting it back does not look the easiest thing to do. Mm, so, that's yeah. a... You could, yeah, there, there's a you nice could easily fill it. You can fill up it in the back corner. You can just fill up with one guard, fill up the square, and just get a free hit first with the hypno. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I don't even think you need to. I think if you blitz with the one two to the left of the to the right side step. Um, I, I want to the only that. place you can sidestep into is onto another tackle piece, and if it chooses yeah. not to, you can push it onto the other tackle piece as well. How, how do you how do you hit for a square where he doesn't just sidestep backwards into his own yard? I oh, know. Okay. That's I, why I, I want to fill that square first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I. Yeah. You gotta fill well, you, that. I mean, you push the vamp into it with the tackle, yeah. but, but yes, I think you're right. I also don't want him, you know, sidestepping there and dropping the ball in that in his backfield like that. I, I think we all kind of said it was pretty mad. I, it's not that easy though, this is, it's really not that easy, he's got, because anything he does takes away something else, doesn't it? Like, yep. putting this guy in here, now he doesn't, uh, now it, he doesn't easily cancel that assist, does he? Unless the skin can get there. 
It's a skink all the way around, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, this king can cancel the assist. And he's yeah. still got to get someone in to assist himself. Yeah, the crocs not moving was... Uh... Yeah, the crocs is the big problem with that, isn't it? You could actually... Uh... You could put the skink actually and block the yeah. block yeah, trial and then it... um and then just go for the blitz. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he just does it with oh you can just one dance it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not I mean he's got a blitz to follow up, so I mean the thing was right, if he, he's now he's got recovery, if he if he'd put in the assist there, he's got no recovery, yeah, so what's no, the point no. of yeah. getting the ball off him? No, it's a it's a nice plan, and and the only side step spare is, is sort of where he wanted it anyway. Um, Does need a good stun, nice and he gets get, get the oh. ball. Oh. Okay, we need to oh. Well, with the stun, that's a great scatter and a great catch. Um, yeah, but that's a blow. Still a crap. Foul the tackle. The foul the tackle, vamp. Why not? But uh... I, I, he's. <laughs> Already one skink down forever. His best skink knocked out. Okay, just oh, maybe goes foul can there. He really something. Go down for the yes, he is fouling it. Can he really go but down for the bribe? He's got he's a bribe. bribe. Yeah, he's, he's got bribed. Today. Yeah, you, at this point, I think it's bad enough that you've just got to hope that the, the bribe works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I better like fouling with that terrible skink that with that really good vampire. Yes. Yeah, that that was very rowdy. I mean, I. Yeah, it, it was sort of all right, but completely insane at the same time. <laughs> yep. And I guess that's good vamp play, because I'm not that brilliant with vamps, and I would not have thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> and these vamp powers is always funny. <laughs> Does he hit without a tackle here? I think he, I think he can do, right? Because he, he hasn't got... Dodger, he hasn't got a uh, sidestep, so he can he can chain multiple hits. Oh, he's not. He's he's getting the tackle ring. Yeah, he's uh, no, he's trying the other one instead. Yep. Yeah, that, that four, makes sense. I guess. Four, four, five, yeah. six, seven, it's eight. eight. But it's uh, three. It's three. Negative two pluses, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot. Makes of the first. Pluses. Makes the second. Doesn't make that one. That's. Uh, wasn't it four? Because yeah, four. Yeah. Two dodges, two go for it. For yeah. two die. Yeah, I, I think yeah but it's the not first one it. wasn't that a way. No, the first one was from the back as well. Yeah, yeah no, I, I just want to come dodge. back to Core mentioning the wrong number because that never happens. Yeah, yeah. So he hasn't got dodge. You, were, you yep. said there were three Core and there were four, weren't there? You were wrong. Yes. Oh, he caught the ball! I even said he admitted it! <laughs> Jimmy, has someone clipped that? Has someone clipped that? <laughs> so again, the uh, the skink catches. That's lovely for Martin. He needs some turning dice here, so I don't begrudge him a little bit. But now he's got. He surely he's just got to find a way to run like hell away from this whole pack of doom. Yeah, which is like why, this. yeah. And Ducky's predicting that. That's why he's dropping some pieces back. I think yeah. there is a diagonal route to the uh, the sort of northeast of where the ball is, but it's right through the pack. But there's some lizards that can, uh, yeah. Some lizards that can get free. Crocs can probably come too. There's, there's a yeah. There's a lot. Of, there's a gaping. There's a hole route there, here, isn't there? There's a gaping hole in this there area is. of the field. A there is. You hole. blitz the uh, blitz the tackle, blodge, vamp, and even if it just moves, that's fine. You've then got four, four. Yeah, th yeah. Two four now. Squares. Four movable sauruses to come with the ball. Oh, Ducky had to go here, didn't he? I don't know if you can see the stream or not. He had to go here, didn't he? That's, yeah, this is that's that's the game. that's the hole. That's the space I would have wanted him to fill with the guard piece. Yeah, this is a that's where hole. I'm going, and I'm coming with four. <laughs> I am. I'm coming with my croxigor, and I'm coming with four sauruses. Oh baby, that's rule some rule thirty four of that I imagine. <laughs> the only question here is: Do I risk the one in nine, one in three? to not hit the ones at the back and just dodge with my skink ball carry. Do I have that level of, uh, of confidence in myself? I definitely. I'd blitz. I'd croc blitz. Let's go. And Jim. the answer is he doesn't seem to. Croc blitz. Good. Yeah, he's he's hitting that. The uh, the tackle might have low back. Yeah. Croc blitz. Ooh. 
I, I yeah, well, I felt the Crocs Blitz is the way to do it because you, I don't think you can afford using an entire Saurus just to assist on that hit. Exactly, yeah, that's the thing. You take him out of the play, aren't you, if you do it? Although he has got three rerolls, so you could one die it knowing you only really need to move it. He's mm -hmm. he's caging again, isn't he? It um, looks like it. Oh, no, he's going up the left. Oh. Which, with the stun on the first vamp, he just needed to knock the second one down and didn't. Yep, so the blitz is. Oh, the blitz is. Yeah, no, okay, this is okay. This is okay. Yeah, okay, that's pretty nice. That's pretty he does nice. need to neutralize the vamp he has nice. knocked over, but with the stun particularly, got the pace to get away from the plus pace vampire. It's the it's it's tag might have blowed as the one. Yeah, six. this is the problem. The, the main yeah. worry, isn't it? it is. you need to that's pretty good, actually. So actually yeah, pretty good from Ducky to, to stay there, because if he'd gone over there, then uh, he would have been very exposed up this side. So, yeah, yeah. I think I think if you've just... I'm, I'll just potato out of range of tackle and, and block. I don't care about the dots. Count, count Jimmy, the new Count Jimmy would just dodge. Yeah. If that works, it works. Like, Did you just say something about Jimmy that we can't put on stream? No, he said he said he said count obviously because he's count, a, he's count a Jimmy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I had, I had a team called Dirty Counts when I played uh, when I played That's tabletop. Strong Danish football. accent that just sounded um, <laughs> yes. very much like a count. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> um, it's a, of course problem is it's more likely than not to get three dice. So, uh, I guess it's not actually that easy because you can tag. Um, we're going to tag the last uh, Muppet as well, the last trial. So actually getting three dice on a potato is not that easy. <laughs> and by the way, HTK... Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was waiting for a lull in the, in the game to say HTK asking if I had any pro venting tips for Among Us. Because after that, just, just venting in, in and out of the room where Skura was until I, until I was spotted by everybody. <laughs> The pro tip is probably don't do that. Yeah. Oh dear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not good enough, Martin. No, that needs to be. You need to. You need away. to follow on one, two, three, four. Is that keep enough? Running the one? Keep running. He's. The, I think he's doing the maths. He's just taking his socks oh. off there so he can count all the way up. Oh, I don't like that. Do I not like that? I think that's the right square, though. No, so. I think he had a goal I mean, with one a further back was skink, didn't he? He can get hit here by the... You know, he just needs to gaze this one. He just needs to gaze yeah. this, this, this Saurus and he can get straight through. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm... <laughs> the Saurus. Yep, he gazes him. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Yeah, that's the wrong... That's, <laughs> making this the wrong and he had, And he had more movement. He did, yeah. Yeah, he didn't even go on max move. I think he had one square movement and the two GFIs. No, I liked the Saurus square, keeping the dodge vamp a little harder to get to the ball, but the yeah. ball needed to yeah. be a bit further away. Yeah, yeah, he had to get further with the skink. Like, at least that was one square. Like, at least, if you do a potato, make sure it can only get hit by stuff that cannot just naturally knock it down. <laughs> Very solid advice. And, him and of well, course, we can, we can put a, a skink around the front of it for a three die. Yeah, that's have not a problem. around the front three die and still have another thrall and a vampire afterwards to come and uh, collect. And now it's, mm. yeah, now it's childlike in its simplicity. Yeah, yeah just like um, Dimmy. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. Um, Sorry. Oh, I was really tempted with a yup, but I love the man, so I'm not going to. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy, I couldn't resist. <laughs> and all the dice in the world. <laughs> and goodbye, oh, King. Castles in as well. He has also every skink he's been touching out. Uh, he had a problem in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's what's yeah, happened to Chicken Fish, honestly. Every time he gets a skin hit, it's removed. Like, it happened in all of his previous games that we've watched. It's crazy how it happens to him. Well, everything's coming up ducky. But it took, to be fair, the, the good skin took a couple of hits before it decided to yeah. go away. But yeah. Um, but again, it 
it's really hard to like complain about it because he completely left it on himself. <laughs> yeah, he did. It, it's. Yeah, he, he just, so he just is... didn't make the GFIs, did he? He could have got clear. Like, you've got to realize just... that Vamps can gaze and run around and hit you, and you've just the only defense is being out of range, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. The only it fight you win with Vamps is one you're not in. Okay. It, of course, that was a power, but he could have made sure that power was coming for somebody not to be blocked tackle. He had the movement. He should just move to full movement, but has been enough. Yes. Block tackle and mighty bloke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You had to get free and pro as well, right? So he could have, yeah, he could have, uh, he could have proed that hit if you know if he had like used to really well getting that. Now, of course, not only is he completely screwed, but he's completely screwed because even if he does somehow find some magic. His entire team is now jealous of Kemri's ball handling abilities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he is stinkless right now. Not a good place to be. Mm. Yeah, Dirty Rack, so perhaps that is a good point. Um, it's one of the reasons I've played races I really don't enjoy, is because, yes, playing against them, you can you know work out some things that work, but really getting your hands on that race yourself lets you know what that coach is fearing sometimes. What they really don't want you to do, what they Grab have doing to good do. stuff, yeah. don't want to have to face. So perhaps Martin does need to do a vampire run because some of his turns have not been that great in terms of knowing what the vampire threat can be. Yeah. Okay, and we can block. Are we? He's going to just break the goal in for the uh, 1D. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But I prefer taking the one die on that. Um, I, I prefer getting the two die on the yeah. ball and one die on the non block. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not that. But it, it works. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And now we just uh, need to scatter up to one of those big dudes that catches it. How hard can be? <laughs> now one of our pack of skinks comes and picks that. Oh. No, oh, he makes the dodge but fails the GFI! Oh dear. Oh, so close! <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't. Yeah, I'm. I don't mind trying. Staying didn't do much difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he rolled a six on the dodge in, so he still had break tackle for the. <laughs> for the yeah, dodge. I mean, it was a nightmare position, and that could. I mean, it wouldn't have solved it, but it would have helped. At least it forced bit. it forced him to roll a five plus. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that can fail. I've seen yes. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you have a, a string four block break tackle piece that can try to do stuff. <laughs> no, I think if there was a solution there, I, that that saw us picking the ball up was probably it. Mm -hmm. I think I done it even it with even without having break tackle. I think I tried yeah. anyway. Yes, yeah, sure. I think yeah. it was the only only thing that worked. So yeah. if it's anything that works, you give it a go. Yeah. Uh, we talked about multiple times. Even a terrible plan is better than no plan. Well, there was a lovely example on Dio's stream yesterday, actually, of um, of a five plus into a, a two red dice, just needing a push, followed by a three plus dodge, um, which looks insane as a plan, but because it was the only plan, Dio tried it and it worked, and the opponent was really unhappy. <laughs> and of course, you've got a right to be unhappy if something that unlucky you know, happens, but it, it, it also was the only plan, so he should have been expecting it. <laughs> Took your own some dice now, and it's looking real bad. Real bad for chicken fish. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't imagine this looking a lot worse unless, uh, you know, unless you suddenly allowed Dimmy to coach a turn or two for you or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dimmy. <laughs> I just couldn't resist that. <laughs> Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> yes, this is this is probably the last of chicken fish, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah, right and scores easy for the for the benefit of people watching on YouTube who may not know that Chicken Fish is Martin Scores Easy. This is Martin Scores Easy who does stream on Twitch as well. Glorious. Has got a new no, I won't give coach name of Martin Scores Easy. Until I'm um, victorious. Just not using and it. I will but defend. I guess he's only going to use it in the future to make things easier. Yeah. He's uh, playing on nothing this season, as you have as born into it, his new account. Yeah. And Holy Boy, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Absolutely glorious. Welcome to Team Seems Prime. like it's a, it's a Prime Saturday. Yeah, it doesn't it? Glorious stuff. Mm. Uh, but this, it still feels a bit weird, this game, because again, Martin has had some... This game could have been so, like, so different than what we're looking at now. Yeah. It's crazy. I, I do think, but again, it's not an excuse. You need to have a plan for it. I do think that Ducky's had the better dice. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying that. Uh, but that it's, kind of really interests me. It, it's what are you doing about that? Because yeah. that, that's going to happen in half your games. So you still need plans that can stand up to the other person rolling better than you. And but it does. Idea, this could have been 2 1 at Chicken Fish and might have been saying that he's had the better dice, you know, if he'd made different yeah. decisions. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm still thinking, like, again, I do agree to overall, it seems like, like, injury and stuff that he's Duke has been on, a, on the lucky end. But again, those, we have just those two crucial turns could have switched the game completely around. Yeah. We could have been a 1 1 half by half time with the good skin still alive. We saw been, you know, some ideas in the first half, you know, keeping your skinks uh, away from hits. Ooh, it's slightly like less relevant down, conditions. Um, I said a couple of times that he was forming cages. I don't think cages are good answers to vampires. Oh. I think screens are usually better. Um, I think being... You've got the move with the skinks, uh, and vamps aren't fast. I think being away from them, over the other side of the pitch, or in the back corner of the pitch, choosing when you come forward, making sure that you've got on top of the, the vamps first. It's things like that that I think... Um, it's not necessarily every turn, oh, this block, not that block. It's the three turns leading up to it that have put you in those positions. Yeah. That said, there were even a couple of turns. I mean, Jimmy highlighted one particularly we didn't like, where the skink did get the recovery and just didn't run far enough forwards by a single square. One more square forwards, still under threat, but under less threat. Yeah, that's like that's those like three key turns, right? That's one where he get a turnover and just stays around where all the good vampires is. And yeah, that was. That is his sideline. How you play vampires? It doesn't work. We <laughs> have another vampire over here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Did you not see that run up there last turn? That no. Was, yeah. No, I thought it was running away, but of course it, it wasn't. It was a scoring threat. <laughs> the classic canoring threat. Calcium. Um, uh, and then he has his sideline cage, which he could have made safe of tackle as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, it's very tough, and there are there are still sometimes it's just not going to be your day, no matter how good your shapes are, no matter how good the, you know the positions you take are, or your plan or your tactics. Sometimes it's not going to be you. But there are some things Martin could have a think about trying to do just differently or a little better, or you know, trying a different tactic. And like I said, just being a long way from the vampires makes it really hard for them to do much. And they take a while to get there, and while they do, you out position them again, and you get some more hits in. And that's... turns where Martin could have really prioritized doing some hitting on the thralls um, have been few and far between. Yeah. Uh, like Maeve talked about as well, you cannot be afraid of rolling two pluses and stuff like that if the upside is, is there, is big enough. You cannot. Yeah. And you cannot also... not roll the dice in, in a game like this. Especially against aggressive vampire team, where you know you need, you need also to be a bit more aggressive to make them pay for it. Yeah, and K Kale's at Issa, and oh, he's just tickling thralls with mighty blow. He hasn't really been because he's only got one no. mighty blow guy, and it's also on a tackler. So he's been having to hit vamps with him when he's had the chance, and he's also his break tackle. Yeah. So he's wanted to keep him free. So you know he just hasn't been able to like. If this had been built differently, this team, and he had like four mighty blow or whatever, then then they'd be smashing the thralls. You know a lot, but he hasn't. He, he hasn't even been able to. Like you would never be able to deal with thralls with this team. Just not possible. And the, I mean, the blitz really did limit his ability to get that that important turn of hitting in at the start of the second half. Yes, I get that's that. true. That was a. 
But even then, he has chosen several times to stay in the pack and try and fight as a scrub. Yeah. Um, and there's teams that have to do that. I mean, you know, dwarves really don't have a lot of option, for example. But that's that's a failing plan against vampires, almost always. <laughs> because it may not do it on the first turn or the second turn, but give them three turns of that, and one of them, they're just going to hypno-cheat your, your, your cage apart, come in and take your ball. And sure enough, that's what happened. Yeah. And, uh... um, so it's him not handing over, that was him not blocking, and that was him not getting away from tackle block in the backfield on his own drive. That's the three main thing. Actually, I think his first turn with caging in front of his guy, that turn where he caged in front of his own line of scrimmage was pretty bad as well. Yeah. But I think the three other ones was way more critical. Um, Matthew, before anyone answers your questions, are we... Are we allowing spoilers for the Gaday Nick game that's already happened, or are we trying to avoid them? Uh, we agree? could have, we could avoid them, couldn't we? But uh, yeah. it was, you know, there's no spoilers. If you haven't watched it yet, watch it at least so that I get some ad revenue. Um, but it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I won't spoil the result then, but I will tell you my my one line summation was: it was a game that promised little and delivered less. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> even even less than our game PC. And I stand by that. <laughs> yes, even less than our game. At least there was yeah. that vaguely interesting <laughs> attempt at stopping the one turn, which was interesting even if it didn't work. <laughs> yes, Impetuous Lad, a good way to describe it. it. It was a game that happened. And it was a game that happened at a time where most Buffalo people were sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Including the guys watching it. Any? Sorry, I agree. If you're leaving your ball carrier somewhere where the vamps can get a couple of threes and a couple of twos and get two or three dice on your ball, that that is not a great tactic. It's unlike a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> he goes for the one day and fails. Yeah. I respect the fact he's still trying. Yeah. There's sort of, sort of. I mean, there wasn't, but because it's a blood step, you you couldn't even push it onto the edge and hope for a lovely scatter. It, it, <laughs> even going down there, the ball was not going to be recoverable. I guess he doesn't want the extra hits here, does he? So he'll try and. Uh, he'll the big problem him. for uh, for Martin here, I feel, is that. Um, is that Ducky has clearly uh, been on, on Facebook or Reddit <laughs> and had heard that if you take the skinks out, it, it limits the, the list. <laughs> oh, he's going to hand that, off to the thrall, isn't he? That oh, great oh, truth was not his. Yeah, it's on uh, yeah, 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 29. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> there is nothing more depressing in a really key chalice game than knowing your opponent is now farming. <laughs> We do know, Matthew Ori, you need to go to my Discord here, look. And then on my Discord it has got the CCL cast schedule, uh, maintained by Volcayo, and tomorrow at 2pm UTC we've got Cybernite Burt versus PTK Rats. And then on the Monday, the 19th, we've got at 4pm UTC Rick Reckless's Chaos Wars versus Le Masselier's High Elves. We and, do also uh, have the website if you don't use it. Uh, yes, there's in also a place the with a with a, with a Discord. <laughs> um, I can also, if you know people wanting to watch it in some of the games in Italian, Italian and France, we do actually have a couple of code mm. people that are streaming in those languages as well now. Pretty good. Some good. Italian guys are starting uh, streaming some uh, Chalice games That's on Wild Thing Blood Studios. Blood Bowl is all one world, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yep, but uh, there's some people that don't like it to be in their own language as well, but with that more familiar. I'm constantly amazed by how incredibly good um, almost every non-British coach is uh, at communicating in English. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Uh, and shaming to me that my my French and German are pretty much I can buy a beer and a you know a meal, and that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's wild, like, especially on Fumble, it's like people who've, like, you know, you've 
well, I mean, for me anyway, that, like, you know, I've seen their posts and that in the forum for, like, you know, years. And then, like, they suddenly just say, like, there's some, <laughs> then, like, you know, they're not English. And I'm like, what? <laughs> How can you just speak so, so perfectly? Like, it's crazy, isn't it? Well, in the end, I think a, a, a game that really played into Ducky's strengths. A um, couple of rowdy moves in the first half where there did look to be some problems and where the, uh, the Lizards nearly got on top of them, but... <laughs> He rode 22 pro rows. Second <laughs> half was just horrible, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. Well, that was a game, wasn't it? Yes, it 63%. So wasn't that good, actually, the pro? I mean, it was pretty good, to be yeah, fair. It's he, really, he... but it's still good, and it's re it's still good when you roll 22 of them. Yeah. I mean, Being obviously, bad. I would love to see a graph. Um, but obviously, okay. expecting 50% when he rolled really a lot, you know, 63 is quite high on the bell curve it's not that high though is it like it's 11 11 would be average wouldn't it so it's only like three more than you would have expected sure. and you would but only you wouldn't really expect it. So yeah he got good value from all of his pro guys didn't he and Cluzet I mean I, I like I said I, I have a tiny little spattering of French and German but I do suffer from the actor's curse where apparently my uh, my accent is pretty good so then people think I know lots of French or German and <laughs> talk to me very fast in a language I really don't understand. <laughs> uh, at which point I'm doing the English thing of speaking slowly and waving my hands a lot. That's the best. It works everywhere. It's universal. <laughs> so there you go. That's, uh... Well, Kale Zeddy, the dice weren't that bad. He just got outplayed by Ducky at the end of the day. <laughs> and on that bombshell, <laughs> no offence, Martin scores easy. It went exactly the way that I thought it would go um, in that Ducky just played better and, and that was the deciding factor. So there you go. Congrats, Ducky. Commiserations, Ma uh, Martin slash Chickenfish. Thank you very much, Purple Chest and K-Fog. And uh, yep. thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.